Many customers ask how they can transfer files from their 35670A dynamic signal analyzer to their computer. One solution for doing this is to use our free Datalink software. Datalink can help customers transfer saved files from their 35670A to their computer. The Datalink software can be downloaded for free from Keysight's website at www.keysight.com slash find slash datalink. There are four prerequisites required in order for the Datalink software to work properly. The first prerequisite is that the instrument must have the latest version of firmware. In order to determine the currently installed version of firmware, push the System Utility hard key located under the display of the 35670A, then push the F9 key, which is located at the bottom right-hand corner of the display. It is next to the soft key labeled More. You can then push the F7 key, which is next to the soft key labeled S-N version, and you'll see both the serial number and firmware revision displayed on the display. If the first part of the firmware revision is A.00, you will need firmware revision A.00.30. If the first part of the firmware revision is A.01, you will need firmware revision A.01.11. If you do not have the most current firmware, you can either download it from the website or you can purchase it on a floppy disk by ordering part number 356 70U, option UE2. The second prerequisite is that the instrument must have the BASIC option installed. In order to determine if the BASIC option is installed, push the System Utility hard key located under the display, then push the F5 key, which is next to the soft key labeled Options Setup. If BASIC is installed, you will see it listed as option 1C2. If you do not have BASIC installed, you can purchase it by ordering part number 35670U, option 1G1. The third prerequisite is that you must have a GPIB cable connected from the instrument to the computer. GPIB adapters, such as the 82357B USB to GPIB cable and the E5810A land to GPIB adapter box are also supported. The fourth and final prerequisite required in order to use the Datalink software is that the IO libraries version 15.0 or later must be installed and the instrument must be configured in Connection Expert. The IO libraries can be downloaded for free from www.keysight.com slash find slash IOLib. As mentioned previously, if you do not have the most current firmware, you can download it for free from the website or order it as part number 35670U, option UE2. Oftentimes customers choose to order the floppy disks because the free download requires older Windows versions and floppy disks. However, if you do wish to download the firmware from the website, you can do so from www.keysight.com. Simply put the product number into the search term. You'll enter 35670A, hit enter, and wait for the top match to appear. Once the top match appears, you will select the Visit Technical Support link and wait for the technical support page to appear. From this page, you'll select the Drivers Firmware and Software tab, and then go down and select the 35670A Firmware Update Utility. This link takes you to the page from which you can download the free firmware. The firmware package contains both the A.00.30 and the A.01.11 versions of the firmware. Within the firmware package, you will also find the instructions 
on how to create the floppy disks and install the firmware into the 35670A analyzer. Once all of the four prerequisites are satisfied, you can launch the Datalink software. Upon launching the software, the display will look like this. The first thing you need to do is click on the button labeled Find 35670A. The software will go out and find any 35670As connected to your computer and display each one on its own line. In this case, the software found just one 35670A. Highlight the 35670A entry from which you want to download the files and click on the button labeled Search for Files. The software will search the instrument's non-volatile RAM, the RAM, and the floppy drive. The file names of the files which are found will be displayed in the window as shown. In this case, the software found eight files. You can then put a check mark next to the files you would like downloaded. You can put in the file path of the directory to which you would like the files to be saved, and you can then click on the Transfer Files to PC button. The software will create three folders in the directory in which the files will be saved. One folder is called NVRAM for the files found in the non-volatile memory. One folder is called RAM for the files found in the RAM memory. And the third folder is called Floppy for the files found on the floppy drive. Once the download is completed, you will see a message pop up stating, files successfully transferred to the location you originally listed. In order to read the files most easily on the PC, we recommend saving them on the 35670A in a .txt format versus a .sdf format. If you would like to both read the files on the PC and transfer them back to the 35670A at a later time, we recommend you save the file as both .txt for reading on the PC and .sdf for loading back into the 35670A at a later time. To summarize the process for transferring files from your 35670A to your computer, simply follow these five steps. One, install the latest firmware on your instrument, either A.00.30 or A.01.11. Two, be sure you have option 1C2 installed on the instrument. Three, install the I.O. libraries on the computer and configure the instrument in Connection Expert. Four, download the Datalink software from www.keysight.com slash find slash datalink. Five, launch the software and download the files.